the end of this beautiful tree-lined street, we come to the alley. This is Toyo, which means soy sauce or crazy apparently in Tagalog. I thought it was Japanese, but it's not. It's Filipino. And uh, they've got quite a unique concept really. They have their own bakery just up there. Uh, and they make everything, the bread they make is sourdough based. So they're making bicho, which is a, a Filipino um, donut, and they're making uh, croissants with a sourdough base, and they're making various breads. Uh, you can buy sandwiches and, and that sort of thing for brunch or for lunch. And then at around about dinner time, uh, 6 pm, uh, the, the menu becomes more Filipino. They're using a lot of local produce and it all sounds pretty good. And it's in a really beautiful environment. We're sitting outside Cafe Poison at the moment, waiting for our katsudon. Uh, they do Japanese food here. So the hot food is uh, rice dishes, noodle dishes, uh, and um, they, have a, they bake their own donuts. And I don't know if they bake anything else. They bake their own donuts at the back of the shop uh, and they make coffee as well and they reckon their coffee's pretty good so we'll see how we go. We'll have the katsu, katsu don first but there's quite a bit of choice. We might go back up to the bakery Toyo, Toyo bakery uh, place uh, and have a beat show. We'll see how we go. I'm starving, still starving. So while we're waiting, uh, when I got here, I, I got a grab taxi so they'd use their GPS to the, the front of the place, what looked like the front of the place, but it's kind of back off the street, uh, down that uh, beautiful treed laneway that, uh, that, you, that I showed you before. Um, but I said to the guard, uh, I'm looking for the alley. And he said, um, oh, no, no. And I said, no, the, the alley with, with restaurants and art galleries and things. That he said, no, no. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, bring it on. Thank you. That looks great. With your with your donuts, do you make single donuts? Can you serve a single donut? All right, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Thanks very much. Katsu don. It's pretty nice. It's nothing really special. Three hundred pesos. But the the special thing is the environment really relaxing. So that was the Katsu Don at Poison. Total bill 360 pesos and uh, there was 45 pesos for the water, 300 for the Katsu Don and 15 for service. There is there's one issue there and that is that it seems to be that as Poison's at the very end it's the sort of nominated smoking area for the staff when they have a break at all the other places and so you're getting people who aren't customers coming down and sitting very close to you and smoking cigarettes it's just unbelievable right okay well now we're looking for a sweet something nice and i think we'll have to go to toyo and check out their sourdough sourdough donuts we're at toyo i've just ordered a banana bicho which is the filipino sourdough based donut and uh, a latte and uh, as I've been harping on about for the last <coughs> 50 days actually 50 days on the wagon today uh, and about two and a half weeks off sugar and white rice just had white rice with my uh, katsu don uh, and so I'm gonna have uh, you know a sugary sweet donut now all right my, my bicho bicho has arrived Apparently it's bicho bicho. I'll give you a better look at that. And my latte. I'm eating my donut with a knife and fork. I'll just try the latte. It's quite nice. I was talking to the waiter before. Hang on a minute. Oh, this looks good. It looks really good. Lots of banana. It's very sugary, <laughs> lots of cinnamon, 
the pastry is soft and a little bit bready. Oh, and the banana, yeah, it's, it's really, really lovely. Really lovely. But I was talking to the waiter before, and apparently this place, Toyo, uh, has made it into the Peria Top 50 Best Restaurants in Asia list this year at, I think, number 49, which is a bit of an achievement. Uh, the, the bakery didn't make it on, but uh, their, uh, their dining, so it was for their fine dining, which is dinner time. The Bicho Bicho was 120 and a coffee's 150. If you buy them together as a set, they're 240 in total. And it's very nice, it's very filling. Really good. The service has been good. Tables were clean and the staff were knowledgeable. I was just thinking, <clears throat> I've got to say, I think I value the aesthetics of a restaurant or an eatery um, almost as highly as the food it serves. Um, it, it's beautiful to be here. Outside, there's a nice breeze. Fortunately, here at Toyo, the food, this bicho bicho, has been very nice and the coffee is very good too. Um, but it's it's just lovely to be here. I'd be interested in, to know how you feel about it. Anyone who's watching this, all of you beautiful people, how much out of 10 do you value the aesthetics of the environment in which you're dining? Is it 50%? 5 out of 10? Is it more? Is it less? Does environment not matter at all? Is it 100% all about the food? Uh, and let's disregard price. Or how much of it is aesthetics and how much of it is food? The name of the restaurant, Toyo, had me completely thrown. I thought it was a Japanese restaurant. I thought, you know, I mean, it was like Tokyo or something. And as I said before, I mean, it's, it's uh, apparently it's Tagalog for, it means either soy sauce or crazy. <laughs> Alright, I've got the bill. And there's just VAT and a service charge on top. 283 pesos, 240 before the charges. So, it's not cheap, but it's pretty good. Wow, it's such a fabulous space. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's huge. Different uh, paintings in different styles. And I'm assuming by local artists, but I'm gonna find that out as soon as I can. Cube is open only by appointment uh, and I'll post the details into the description box uh, and it's really worthwhile coming down and and having a look there was some really interesting stuff uh, and you can if you wish if you have the money purchase the art so this is Vic can you tell me uh, the name of the gallery what's the name of this gallery uh, the name of the gallery is 1335 Mobini 1335 Mobini. Yes. Okay, and can you tell, tell me a little bit about the gallery? Okay, so um, the gallery was founded in 2014. We've hosted in a lot of art fairs, a lot of shows. But now, instead of being a conceptual and a little bit of a political art gallery, we're now focusing on contemporary Filipino art. Okay, so can, focusing more on contemporary Filipino art. And it's a private art gallery. Yes. Um, all right, fabulous. I'll just have a, we'll have a quick look around. All right, sure. Thanks, Vic.
This is one of my favourites. His, the artist's name is Joseph Texon, and uh, the paintings that you've just seen are ranging in price from 150 to about 280,000 pesos. Uh, and this is definitely one of my favourites just behind me. So, again, if you'd like to come down here, uh, it's, it's by appointment only. Uh, and so, again, I'll leave the details, telephone number and address in the uh, description box.